Hey folks, this is Brad with PCMac.com, and today we're taking a look at the new Mac OS Sierra update. Uh, we just put up a review over on the site. Uh, you can check out a link in the description below. But uh, in this video, we're actually going to show you some of the uh, small changes. Uh, so one of the changes is called App Tabs. So if you open up Google Maps, you can actually, in your first tab, you can actually uh, say you want directions to Dallas, Texas. But then you can open up a second tab just the way you would in Safari or uh, Chrome or Firefox and say directions to uh, Omaha. And you can keep doing that in different little sessions here. Uh, there's other things that use the app tabs as well, like the uh, iWork suite, uh, mail, and all of that. Uh, the other thing that's new is actually Siri. Uh, so, actually have it disabled, but you can... Uh, oh no, it's actually enabled. Uh, but you can actually go into System Preferences and configure the voice assistant now. Uh, and she can do a bunch of other cool things. Let's see if I can turn it on uh, okay we'll just open it this way what can you do and she oh, and it actually has a uh, here's what you can ask me to do bunch of different things you can do uh, it's really not any different from uh, iOS or iPad uh, but a uh, bunch of neat little uh, shortcuts like finding out what the weather is and uh, making a status to Facebook and Twitter over uh, voice, uh, sending a message and so on, getting some system information as well. Uh, <clears throat> and that's it with Siri. Uh, the other thing is Apple Music actually got a facelift. Uh, you can't totally see everything here because I've actually already used my uh, free three months, so it doesn't actually give me access to this. But uh, it's got a whole lot more organized and uh, this design is a lot easier to use and everything but uh, like under the for you tab you'll get recommendations for your favorite bands and songs and so on uh, for instance I listen to a lot of country music and so there's a playlist it's uh, put together and recommended called driving with a lot of uh, driving-esque songs on there and then of course you have the browse and radio tab which you can see some of but not all of because I'm not subscribed uh, and obviously it looks different on uh, iOS as well so as far as features go uh, that's really all there is to it uh, like I said we put up a review over on uh, the website uh, you can check that out in the description below and we go over all the little details. But really, uh, Mac OS Sierra wasn't a big uh, update. Uh, it was really a lot more polished than anything, making uh, the Apple operating system run a whole lot smoother. Uh, but there's a bunch of other small things that, I mean, you can't really demo. Uh, for instance, uh, Safari now automatically plays HTML5 video. Uh, you can now share notes. Uh, Time Machine now supports the SMB protocol. Uh, you can now, with your iCloud account, you can now copy and paste across your devices. So I could actually copy this text here on my Mac and go over into my iPhone and paste it in Notepad there. Uh, in the same way, I could copy something on my iPhone and paste it somewhere on my Mac. Uh, you can also do that Mac to Mac, iPhone to iPhone, iPhone to iPad, and so on. But yeah, that's all there is to it. Uh, overall, it's a neat update. Uh, things have, are running a lot smoother. Uh, there's definitely a noticeable difference in uh, performance. Uh, in fact, I'm actually getting 9 hours of battery out of my MacBook Pro now. Which is quite neat. But yeah, that's all there is to it. Uh, if you want to download it, you can just head on over to the App Store. And you should see it either under the Feature tab here or under the Updates tab. Uh, once again, guys, I've been Brad with PCMac.com, and until next time.